friends, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel. Let's take our monthly trip to Home Goods. With summer and Memorial Day just right around the corner, Home Goods has a large variety of outside plants and pots, just a lot of really beautiful items that they're showcasing during the summer months. The glassware selection was really great at Home Goods. I found this exact dupe of the Camilo double old fashioned glass from our house for $4.99. A set of four at our house is $88. Another really unique cocktail glass that I found was this mushroom cocktail glass. World Market has one for $15, but it doesn't have the detail of this gold rim, the ribbing on the stem of the cocktail glass, and this smoky opalescence. As we continue to think about entertaining this summer, don't forget Home Goods for outdoor dinnerware. Their melamine selection was unbelievable. They had so many patterns from lemons to checkers to stripes. You just can't not find what you need there. As I continued to browse, I found two more bar sets that were new to me. This one that had this great heavy black and white marble base, and then this great CB2 dupe of a four-piece bamboo set. CB2s sells for $120, so this bamboo set at Home Goods is an excellent look for less. And for entertaining outside, don't forget to pick up a new tablecloth or napkins. They had a great selection of indoor-outdoor options. And as we head into the decor accessories, I found this great dough bowl with two handles and the perfect wood distressing. It came in three sizes. This is the smallest size. This statue was definitely giving me RH vibes. If you're looking to add a little texture to your home or add just another layer of a natural material, the rattan basket selection at Home Goods is a great option. One of my favorites was this tall basket. It could have been used for a hamper or extra storage for blankets or pillows, but it was very sturdy and I just like the real texture and heavy detailing to it.
Home Goods outdoor furniture selection is always great, but this pretty girl. I loved that kind of egg shape, the rattan, the mix of the metals. I thought it had such a unique design to it, very modern. We're really starting to see a big push toward this embroidered or stitched look design on blankets, pillows, lots of textiles. To me, this has kind of that granny chic look or a cottage core or just very old world look. Loving it all. Seeing lots of vibrant colors introduced for summer. But even as we see those beautiful bright colors of summer, I love that we are starting to see more of what I would call a European design, a Parisian design, these beautiful kind of muted flowers, small detailing. Home Goods had a great selection of these duvet covers. You got the duvet, two pillow covers, and they had gorgeous matching sheets. It was kind of a blue with a green undertone. The camera didn't really do it justice here. I have to say, this month I was blown away by the selection of lighting that Home Goods had. I was seeing lots of rattan, lots of jute, and lots of designer inspired lamps, such as these two here with the scallop detailing. They were $69.99 a piece, but really a great bang for your buck. And then let's talk about this little beauty that had this great rattan shade. And I loved the curvature on the actual base of the lamp. It was really giving me vibes of McGee & Co, Our House. It was just a great looking little lamp. And again, this pair of lamps was really interesting. These shades were made out of paper. I found that very interesting. And if you are a lover of all things Mackenzie Child, you can't help but want to run out and find this little gal. And as we talk about designer finds, we've all loved everything Minka from Anthropology. But Home Goods has done it again with this great dupe of their Minka Pot lamp. At Anthropology, it's $348 and out of stock. A great look for less for Home Goods again. From this sleek contemporary table to this sweet cottage core granny chic double glass front cabinet. It's in a great cornflower blue that we are seeing very much on trend as well as incorporating this wallpaper look pink cabbage rose on the interior of the cabinet. They have exceptionally combined two great trends. The 
This next cabinet I thought had a very mid-century modern vibe. I really liked the way they incorporated this contemporary design on the front of the cabinet and it had almost a fluting detail but very streamlined and very traditional in the cabinet look itself. Thanks for joining me on our trip to Home Goods this month. I hope you've been inspired and remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next time, thanks for watching.